Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to Vegas Fixing in the Kitchen. I know I haven't had any new content in a really long time and that's because I was prepping for Miss Global and then when I got back, I've been swamped with work and now I'm quarantined. So I have all the time in the world and so this is my quarantine edition of Vegas Fixing in the Kitchen. But obviously not in my kitchen because I'm in Austin, Texas and I'm staying at an Airbnb so I'm making use of whatever I have. So today we're gonna be making guacamole and I'll show you all the ingredients. I have it wrapped up in somewhat pre-cut. And let's get started. So we have five avocados. And the reason why we have avocados is because I went to Costco and now I have an abundance of avocados. So now we're trying to make use of it. And I know that in normal quarantine, we have a lot of, what you call it, uh, canned foods, but we are making a nice, healthier snack. So five avocados. I'm just gonna cut them all in half. Let's move this out of the way so you can see. Mmm, nice and green. So fresh. And usually my best friend, Natalie, makes the world's best guacamole. But since she's in Vegas and I'm here, I'm gonna attempt to make it as good as her. So we're gonna just take the pits out. And as you can see, I don't have my camera crew. Shout out to James and Kent. James will be editing this though. All right, so I like to cut them into little squares so it's easier to mash. And I'm gonna do that to all of them. And as you can see, this one's kind of like brown on the side, so I just usually cut that part out. You don't want any of that in your guac. And then I'm just gonna scoop the good part. And I have this big bowl. This is the only bowl they have here. And this is a really nice quick snack. Great for entertaining, I guess, yourself in quarantine. Because you're gonna be watching lots of Netflix, right? And remember, not using the good, uh, not using the brown parts. Let's see a little bit of skin there. And then, here we have it. Oh, actually, I'll show you. And then I'm gonna move this aside. And now I'm going to squeeze one lime just so that it doesn't get brown. And my little tool that they have here. And I love the smell of lime, it's so fresh. All right, so we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna prep the rest of the vegetables for our guacamole. All right, so first things first, we have our tomato. So, and I'll show you how to cut the tomatoes. We wanna dice them. And I have some that's pre-diced here, as you can see. Um, I have some tomatoes on the vine that I got from Costco also. And I usually take out the seeds. 
and I don't think it really matters if you decide to keep them or not. I just prefer them without it. And then I'm just gonna dice them. So. And this is about, well, it's two tomatoes. One is a little bit larger than the other, so I would say you can probably use, depending on size, one and a half, or to your liking, however much tomatoes you like. Some people prefer no tomatoes, so it's up to you. Then I have some diced red onions, and I cut these pretty smaller, it's smaller than the tomatoes. And this is about a quarter of an onion. And I have half of a bunch of cilantro, and it's just roughly chopped. And I have some jalapenos, and I'm gonna show you how to cut this one. And it's up to you if you wanna use the seeds or not. Just, if you really like spicy, I suggest keeping the whole thing, but I'm just gonna cut the sides out. And an easy way to do that is just by cutting it by the sides, and then you don't have to seed them. It seeds itself. And I'm just gonna dice these. And usually I use jalapeno and serrano, but because the grocery stores are crazy right now and everything's out, for whatever reason, I could not find any serranos. But that's okay. So I'm just gonna put that into our little bowl here. Losing some pieces. And then we're ready to make our guac. So I have my bowl of avocados. We're gonna dump everything in and we're gonna go with the tomatoes, the onion, the jalapenos, and the cilantro. Actually, let's just do half of the cilantro for now. I love cilantro. Cilantro is good for a lot of things. Um, I heard it's good for your kidneys. So we have that. Now we're gonna squeeze more lime. So we already did one lime. Now we're gonna do one more. Use my little citrus thingy here. Even though it's kind of gloomy in Austin, it feels like summer making this, just from the smell of it. Actually, no, it feels like I'm on vacation. Actually, I kind of am on vacation because Vegas is shut down for 30 days and I'm not working. All right, and then the secret ingredient, an orange. So we're gonna first start with half an orange. And this gives it the sweetness. And we're gonna squeeze the juice of one or half a little orange. And we're gonna add some salt. I have pink Himalayan sea salt, pink Himalayan salt. And we're just gonna add a little bit of that. And I'm not measuring anything, I'm just eyeballing it. So however salty you like it. And I have maybe like a little pinch, maybe two. Some fresh cracked pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. And then we're gonna use a 
fork to smash it all. Wanna see? I think I probably should have smashed the avocados a little bit beforehand, but that's okay. So I'm not smashing this or mashing this that crazy because I kind of like the avocados a little bit chunky. Not super chunky, but chunky enough. So good. It looks good. I'll show you guys. Yum. Just mix it around a little bit more. And let's give it a try. It's really good. I think it needs a little bit more salt. And not too much because the chips are salty. A little bit more pepper. And I think half another lime. another step and I'm going to cut a little bit of chunks of these oranges in there because I think I like a little bit of sweetness. And one of the restaurants in Vegas actually has chunks of oranges and it's a nice little surprise. So I'm just dicing up the oranges into little chunks and I'm just going to throw it in there. And I think I'm gonna just squeeze the rest of it into the guac. And then we're gonna mix it around. And I think just maybe a pinch more cilantro. if it's really good is if you try it with the chips. So here I have some blue corn tortilla chips. Let's give it a try. That was delicious. So I'm just gonna put this into a little bowl. I'm gonna clean one of these out. I'm gonna scoop some. There you guys have it. Guacamole, super easy, super fresh. And I can't wait to finish the rest of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you think. And of course, wash your hands. See you next time. Don't forget to wash your hands. Have a nice day, or, God. Okay, I'm gonna say that over. Who knew this would be so hard recording yourself on your phone? I can't even look at the camera. And, or, okay, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs>